On those videos though, everyone just says that I shouldn't have been chosen to be, <laughs> to write the theme song because it doesn't fit and all that. Oh wait, no, I found it, I found it. I think, I think this is the one that you're saying. The game and song totally matches perfectly. I'm glad that you got to add one of your awesome songs onto one hell of a popular game. Keep going. Is that the one? Did I find it? Um, because one thing that really broke my heart when Oddworld came out is that so many people complained that they didn't like my song in the game. And that was really hard to deal with at the time because my life was kind of falling apart. And then to, to read all those comments, it was just, it's like someone got a, a big knife and they stuck it through my heart um, because I had to work so hard at getting that song approved with working with the video game company. And um, that's what you guys don't see behind the scenes is that I had to redo the song like 10 times. <laughs> so I definitely didn't um, write, produce and write that song exactly the way that I wanted to. I had to do it in the style that the video game company liked and it was it had to go through many many approval processes as well so the video game company would, would they would very happy with the song and for people to kind of comment and say that I put my own mm, creative vision into that game is not true it was completely um, in line with what the video game company wanted so um, so what I'm trying to say anyway um, Ankai Lei Kriye that comment means everything to me because I'm so glad that you can, you liked it and that you thought it fit. So, mm, thank you so much. I really, I can't, I can't express in words how grateful I am. That just makes me so emotional and, oh God, thank you. Sometimes I don't even go into those videos and read the comments because some of them are kind of nasty. <laughs> you know, I've got to build up a thick skin and all that. Dun, 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 dun. Close to me, I feel like playing that. Um, your song at the end was my hard earned reward. I really loved it and a total surprise. It made, oh my God, did it make you cry? Oh, oh my God. Thank you, Julia. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, like I must admit that going through that whole thing, it was really difficult at the time because I was still pretty young and I hadn't had much experience working with a huge company like that, but I'm really grateful that I got the opportunity because it let me connect with so many of you guys. Um, so. Who knows what happens in the future, but it will always be such an amazing memory. Okay. And also I was going to play that for the talent show for my school, but since the quarantine, it, oh my God. Wow. Were you going to perform that song? That's amazing. Actually, it sort of came to my attention um, that some people have been posting up covers of Born to Love You. So I was going to make a reaction um, video actually, because I didn't realize until the other day, <laughs> I hadn't Googled the song in so, <laughs> in so long. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god. Okay, um, Ankai, if you're making your own Oddworld soundtracks, definitely let me know. I'd love to listen to them. Okay. Um, oh, thank you, Mind Mint. Um, yeah, I think I probably post a bit more on Instagram than I do anywhere else, actually. It's kind of the only place that I post. Um, so, <laughs> that's kind of redundant thing to say. Thank you so much for following me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of more into Instagram these days. Okay. Joran Moore, that song on Odd World, it resonated a lot with me. It holds meaning I could never truly express in words. Oh my God, thank you. I think it did um, for a whole lot who heard it. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, I can completely understand um, people hear the same song completely differently and they react to things different differently and you know their emotional response to the music will be different. And from that perspective, I completely get it. Um, but like when you're working with a big company like that, you can't just do whatever you want. It's always in line with what their vision is. Um, and as, as an artist, you know, you have to respect that. And I don't think that the company would have chosen to use the song if they didn't really, you know, if they didn't think it resonated with their vision. So that's cool. Okay. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to clarify that because people got it really wrong when it was released. <laughs> 